Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> The Earth, a giant ball of rock and water orbiting the sun. It's unique and incredible as it has life. It's not just a home, it's our only home. It gives us water to drink, air to breathe, and food to survive. Five billion years ago, it did not exist. Then how did it get there? The birth of the Earth. Let's explore the astonishing story. Several billion years ago, our solar system was nothing but cloud of cold dust particles rolling through empty space. It all started when a giant cloud of gas and dust was distributed by the explosion of a nearby star and started to collapse as gravity pulled everything together, forming a solar nebula, a huge spinning disk. Over a period of 100,000 years after the collapse, the sun was formed at the centric of the disk, with the rest of the nebular gas swirling around it. Gases and other materials outside of the sun started clumping together which formed miniature planets. Over millions of years, these planets eventually grew in size by pulling more material into it due to gravitational forces and becoming true planets like Earth. Four billion years ago, Earth looks more like Venus. Temperature is scorching, no air, only carbon dioxide, nitrogen, sulfur and water vapor. It was 2000 degree Fahrenheit, hot and toxic. The whole new planet Earth was a boiling rock ball and with full of rock lava. Life is not at all possible there. The entire day lasts only 6 hours as Earth was spinning so fast. As per theory, huge number of asteroids or comets containing water vapors slammed into the Earth. This vapor condensed and fell as rain on the planet for thousands of years. That's how half of the ocean's water came from space. After this asteroid's bombing entered, the temperature of the Earth began to slow down. Three billion years ago, almost the entire surface of the Earth was occupied by shallow ocean. Volcanic activity still continued and even under the newly forming oceans, supervolcanoes persisted. Lava constantly flowed on the surface for nearly 700 million years. Just imagine the earth with hot ocean and volcanic islands. Let's fast forward. Over the period of time, about 650 million years ago, earth became a snowball literally. Even under the thick ice, planet inside has high temperature. Carbon dioxide from volcanic eruptions mixed in the air gradually melted the glaciers. This melting released a huge amount of oxygen which forever changed the planet. The earth is waking up and it is a very different place. Over the next billion years, oxygen levels continue to rise and planet starts to spin slow. Days get longer. Then, the length of the day is about 22 hours long. 540 million years ago, in an ocean, with full of oxygen, life in the ocean blossoms from microscopic bacteria and monsters. The sea level seems unstoppable. But the life on land? Still impossible. The only reason is the deadly ultraviolet radiation from the sun. But there's a solution. Chemical reaction between oxygen molecules and ultraviolet rays form a poisonous gas, ozone. The thin layer of ozone that surrounds the earth acts as a shield, protecting 
the planet from harmful UV radiation. Wow, the Earth's natural sunscreen. Over years, ozone layers get thicker and thicker and prevents radiation reaching Earth. Without this layer, life in Earth wouldn't be existed. Shielded from radiation, life takes off. Temperatures then was 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. Help, new number of organisms emerge. Researchers say that almost all of the existing animals emerge during this period. That's so impressive. The dinosaurs ruled and then died. Then mammals came into power. Last but not least, the earliest human-like creatures, Homo sapiens, evolved. 180 million years ago, volcanic islands joined together and finally formed a supercontinent Pangaea. Time passed away. Pangaea splitting into pieces inch by inch and years by years and evolved as the continents we live on now. The name Earth is at least 1000 years old. The name Earth is a Germanic word which means the ground. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell.